Hi everybody, welcome to Gamer's Ledge. I'm one of your hosts, Mark, in the top right, unlike normal. And then all joining me today is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hey, how's it going, Pete? You know, one of these days I'll actually bring our, our you know, cool graphics for intros over from the other things to this one. So it says our name and what we do. And one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah. But that today is I, not that day. I, and you get like a splash page to go on your desk right here, so that you've got like gamers ledge across the. Working on it, or at least some other cool things to put here. So working <laughs> on it, trust me. Uh, so today we are doing a Beatles and Grimm unboxing, and if you're not familiar with the Beatles and Grimm's, they are, uh, man, I don't know how, exactly how to explain this. Like, if someone took Dungeons and Dragons stuff and made the most high end expensive things possible to accompany your adventures and they've started with um with a lot of the the pre-made modules for fifth ed and they do extremely limited print print, print runs in what they call their platinum edition and it breaks down it gives the dm a bunch of help in breaking down the the story into chapters so they only have to learn what they need to learn rather than reading through the whole thing they know what they need to set up for each play session, etc. But then there's a bunch of maps, a canvas maps that you can that are pretty cool, um, handouts for the players that are amazing, and a lot of like pins and badges, things that you you have in the games, but not um, not actual items. They've made into actual items, like props. I I think that you hit the nail on the head. They they do high end. Um, gaming supplies and um, they're, they're, it's for high end gaming is what it yeah. is and, um, and, and yeah. it's expensive it's like if you buy one of their platinum editions it's like 500 bucks which sounds outrageous but you know if you have a group that's running on a regular basis and there's five of you 100 bucks a piece is not really that much but right. none, you know on resale on ebay they go for like a thousand dollars so Cause, that's because they're hard to get. They're very hard to get. So we managed to get some of the props. I did not get a platinum edition. I wish I got a platinum edition. Uh, but we we got some of the props for uh, a couple of the modules, and we're going to unbox them here or un envelope them because they're in this envelope from Beatles and Friends. I'm gonna open this. All I do not know if there's... Oh, there are th there are things in this bag. All right. So first off, we have a little burlap bag. This is not that expensive because basically my wife uses something similar when she makes stuff and sends it out. Uh, uh, uh. I'm waiting for Daniel to get back. I don't think he's going to be gone long. We'll see. Mm. It's Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, so we're we're going back and forth making Christmas lists. Okay. Yay. So, you have a canvas bag. I have a canvas bag. Or bur 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 burlap bag. Burlap bag. Let's see what's it. Ah, looks like a Harper's pin. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. So, it is an actual pin, so you can't actually wear this. A brooch, pin, brooch, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know what the difference is. As far as I know, you, lay, you stick both of them on your lapel, but the... Uh, mm. stamping is really nice on that's this. That's awesome. And it kind of glit... I don't know how to explain this. It's not glittery, it's shiny. And it kind of comes through on the camera, but it's actually a... The the camera's really not picking up on the the intricacy of the, of the shadowing, but you can kind of see it here around the edges where it's black like that. That's mm -hmm. actually all over the, the edge. To make it look like it's been hammered. Yeah. Not that's, not uh, molded. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. And then it's it's got some kind of shellac on it or lacquer or something. Yeah, so y you can see it on this side. I don't know why you can't see it on, on the camera on the other side. You can see how it's kind of like hmm. darkened like that. It's it's like that on this other side as well. That's cool. Yeah, so that, there's the first one, the Harper Spin. Now, Harper Spin, if I remember right, is for people who are of the bardic persuasion slash performers, correct? Yeah, they're like historians and um, investigators, and they're the people that, that record the history of, of uh, Thayrin. Okay. So, second burlap bag. 
I think I'm going to make a collection of bags and... Alright. Oh. I'm probably going to have to open a, a, a web thing to remember what this, in it, this one is. I know what it is, but I don't remember what the name of it is. It's one of the orders, I know that much. So this is a necklace, as we can see here. Uh, chain, not the greatest, to be honest. It's not super high end, but it's a fist holding on to a sword, um, which if I remember correctly, I might as well just open a new window with the Beatles and Grimm stuff, except my. Oh, it is just Beetle and Grimm. I always call it Beetles and Grimm's. Maybe because of the Beatles. I don't know. Uh, artifacts. So that is the... Are you kidding me? They put new things on the store. That's not cool. <laughs> that is not cool at all. That is the Order of the Gauntlet. No idea. Order of the Gauntlet. Order of the Gauntlet. It's cool, though. That's a really nice piece. Again... It's uh, it's lacquered. I, I don't know. It's it's varnished or something. It's incredibly shiny, but uh, nice, very nice little piece. So uh, both are organizations that are are unique to that setting, but also um, you a player can join. Yes. It's an NPC organization, but the player can join. So that's interesting. So this one is actually in a felt Beatles and Grimm bag. So that's cool. Beetle mm -hmm. and Grimm. I'm going to stop calling Beatles now because they're not a musical band. Mm-hmm. It's the Grimm Beatles. Ah, I know what this one is. This is the Lord's Alliance ring. It is an actual ring. I'm trying to mm. get it up there without the, the glare, perhaps. Uh, it's not going to focus quite. It's basically... Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. It's like that. There we go. There's a nice shot of it. It is focused on it. That's it's cool. all. It almost looks like a Green Lantern ring of sorts, but very nice polished ring in a nice bag. So there's that one. Uh, so are these from various um, uh, special edition like modules that you're looking at, or did you find some pieces that you liked? So, um, almost all of them are from the, uh, um, Water Deep Dragon's Heist module. Okay. Because so I figure maybe one day I will run it, and if I do, I want to be ready. These would be super neat to have, yeah, yeah, to have in person. I mean, even if you're playing online, you're showing them off, but in yeah. person, these would be super neat. I'm trying to figure out how to open this one. It is obviously a pin, because you can see the stabby, stabby part. The stabby, stabby part. Pin flash brooch. All right, here we go. I'm going to save the big reveal. I know what this one is. This is the badge of the watch. Oh, that's awesome. That is really nice. That's very cool. And it, again, like somehow it's... it's lacquered or something it's ex incredibly shiny incredibly shiny but that is not bad at all that's pretty sweet that's gonna go right there what else do we have in here We're running out of things i only have like three more things because unfortunately beetles and grunts is expensive <laughs> uh actually i have i have one other thing that's unrelated because i keep surprising daniel with this. oh i know what this one is mm. So this is another Beatles and Grimm bag. These are, uh, if I remember correctly, actually now I don't want to say. Yep, nope, I'm right. These are dragon coins. Yeah. And. That's awesome. I actually got a few of them. So. I apparently can't figure out how to get them out of the sleeve. They come in a mark safe bag. It has worked. Thank you, sweetie. 
Oh, John Myers is trying to chat with us on Twitch. I'm sorry. Badge of the Wall. With these kind of things, how will they work with Roll20 or other online gaming? So there's a couple options you could do. Number one, you could show it on camera. Number two, I could take a picture of it and upload it to Roll20 and then give it to whoever is actually getting it. Uh, or uh, that's pretty much it for Roll20, etc. Um, those are really your only two options. Man, this thing is, like, severely mark-proofed here. They really wanted it safe. It's very safe, let me tell you. There we go. Finally. It took me, like, 27 tries to... I had to take a 20 to get my dex checked there. As in 20 minutes. All right, let me <laughs> see if I can... So, on this side, we've got a dragon, which is awesome. And that then, is awesome. And on the other side... I'm actually not sure who this is. I'm sure people who are familiar with the lore are going to massacre me, but... What does it look like? It looks like a wizard, right? Uh, could it be Volo, maybe? be Volo. could be Elminster. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but it... This, like, this is a hefty piece of metal. Like, I'm actually surprised about this. This is a really nice coin. And I got three of them. Uh, actually, I think I got more than three of them. I'm pretty sure. Crap last yeah. What is the name of... Um, you said it was a dragon coin? Yeah, dragon coin. Yeah, I got six of them. So let me try and make my dex check on the other bags. Hopefully, now that I've done it once, I'll have a plus one to open them. Success on that one. Oh, I see the picture more clearly, but it doesn't say on this. Um, let me see. You could probably, like, search for D&D &D who's pressed on I the have, opposite side. I have the century they started being minted. Ah, 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 ah. I failed my dex check just to take it out of the bag. I succeeded on getting it out, but not so much on actually opening it. Uh, someone believes it might be Argarian, the first open lord of Waterdeep. Oh, who is the... And the, the dragon is Oranax, but yep. they haven't been able to find anything specifically. That would make sense. Oh, I contacted the artist who designed the coin picture, which I think you're holding. Her name is Olga de Bras, and she was listed as one of the interior illustrators in the book. The character on the golden coin is Algarion, the first open lord and founder of Waterdeep series and um, Waterdeep City, uh, as per the art brief I had. Well, aren't you all smart? For, for the record, that was not me. No, no, you you guessed it initially. Yeah, yeah. No, that was your your. Uh, oh, I get the explanation was not you, but you did yeah. guess him to begin with. So, plus three unboxing XP to you. Well, that's because I read the module after you told me not to. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, and then the last in, one in the we... hopes in the hopes that I will be one of your players. I have you, not read it. I have thank... it in my in my uh, my shelf, but I have not read it. So the last one is the Emerald Enclave brooch. Which is pretty cool as well. That's awesome. Okay, so um, is it? Uh, what is it? Is it painted? So, you no, know, it it's formed? it's a gold. It's a gold leaf stamp. Oh, I didn't even and notice it, the leaf. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a gold leaf stamp, and then this is etched into the metal. That's cool. It's very cool. It, it's got a black. Oh, it's, black thick, it's thicker too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can definitely stab someone in the heart with it. Nice. Well, and that is the sign of a good brooch or pin. Yes. How easily can I stab this into the heart of an enemy? Yes. And then I have one other thing because I keep – these keep arriving on the same day that you that you come to do the unboxings with me for D&D &D nice. stuff. And that is, of course, I got another fig pin today. It's as um, if they know. Yeah, it's as if they know. Actually, I got two because I haven't shown this other one on camera yet either. So, uh, the first one is probably the most unique 
villain model or like character that has been introduced in the last 20 years and it's from uh, my hero academia um and i believe his name is togarashi if i rem am remembering correctly the bad part is is that on this one on this particular example um it's really hard to see where well, they mark proofed it uh, hold on put that back on Okay, you can't hear it. So, so he's a villain that has hands all over his body, um, including covering his face. Uh, huh. And let's see how close I can. Working in three dimensions, it's kind of small on the pin, so it's kind of hard to see. Let me, yeah. let me actually show me the back again. Oh yeah, that that's a good call. Huh. So so this is like the the arm portion of a hand. Yeah. Yeah, and he has these hands all over his body and uh it's it's pretty sinister. Um <laughs> but it's really interesting character design. Are I, they I, are they puppeting him? No. No, um they're actually if I remember in story right, they are the hands of his dead father who is trying to kill him. Oh. Yeah, it's really kind of dark. That's but, dark. <laughs> yeah, kind of dark, but but still. Um, I have been told good things about that series. I have not yet watched it. Um, so I'd say like strong seven out of ten, which means it's good. Oh, for you, that's actually really good. Yeah, it's 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 got its slow moments, but if you're if you're like mainlining it, which you're not like waiting for the next season to come out. It's right. it's pretty good. Watch all together. It's got some good characters, and it's a fun little superhero kind of thing. Um, I do like the story of the main character. I think you would like that very much as well. Hmm. So basically, it, quick, short, dirty version is it's a world where eighty percent of the people are superhero, and the main character is one of the character is one of the people who are is born without superpowers <laughs> so it's a world full of anime protagonists except for the main character <laughs> who is obviously extremely frustrated and pissed off that he is not a superhero and That's sad awesome. and sad so yeah uh and then the last one we got was a video game run uh and this is of course soul caliber this is soul Ivy. Caliber, yeah. yeah from the original well it's soul caliber 6 version but she's been around since the original um, and that's pretty cool as well. That's so, awesome. Yeah, so we've got a ton of fig pin action going on. Still more to come. I just haven't got them yet, but I'll save them all and we'll do an unboxing when I probably get more D&D stuff eventually. Um, but yeah, Beatles and Grimm's. Main reason we're here is I put these up on my shelf. Hold on. Ooh, ah, perfect. Uh, the, I'm super... To be honest, this wasn't all that expensive. However... You know, <laughs> it was expensive, but right. uh, um, I'm I'm very pleased with the quality of the craftsmanship on all of it. I'm actually really surprised about uh, some of these. I wish I could get some of the ones that are out of print now, but of course they're you know what are you gonna do? Right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got these, and these will go in my collection. In fact, uh, I think it's gonna go in my mimic box with my deck of many animated things right now. So awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, I believe each of these, the necklace, the pins and the brooches were 20 bucks a piece. And then the coins were 15 for three. Oh, if I, let me double check that. I believe that is the case. Uh, yeah. 15 for three and all the rest of the badges were 20. Oh, and the ring. What did I do with the ring? Oh, I put it back in its thing. The ring was the most expensive one uh, at thirty. Hmm. But still, that's that's, that's also good a neat. That's also a neat wearable ring. It is a neat well wearable ring. I think. Oh, it actually I fits. Mean, <laughs> I not didn't, that we. I didn't think it would, but it, it fits on my. Um, on my not ring. that we don't don't you know push all kinds of gaming, but um, Lords of Waterdeep, which is a fairly popular Waterdeep based board game. Um, could also make use of a lot of these. You are absolutely uh, correct. Props. You are absolutely correct uh, because that is a very popular board game as well. Uh, so yeah, it is a shame that the badge pack is out of print. 
Because I got, I think, half of it here, if I remember right. Uh, wait. I ordered more than this. I'm going to have to... I, I Oh, I guess I didn't. <laughs> wait, did I? I'm going to have to go check that out now, because I'm not sure all of a sudden that I got everything that I ordered. And, and the funny part is we found that out through the unboxing video last time. Yep. Uh, I, I was supposed to have a, uh, uh, a Silver Dragon, which is arriving Wednesday. Oh, um, so how did that go? I um, mean, actually, great customer service. I, I contacted them. I sent them a copy of the video. I'm like, look, I didn't get my Silver Dragon. I got the proof on, on camera because <laughs> we, uh, we unboxed it. And they were like, oh, it's no, you know, our fault. Um, if you want to send the, the Smoke Dragon back, you know, you can. I'll, I'll, I'll make the UPS label, and you can just send that back when you get the Silver Dragon and we'll pay for the shipping and everything. And I'm like, can I just pay for the smoke dragon and keep it? Cause it's cool. And I, I like dragons and she's yeah. like, sure. And so I did that, uh, via PayPal invoice and they, they sent out the that's, kind of tracking and everything. Yeah. It was really that's awesome. Yeah. Really easy yeah. To, to work with. And, and, uh, so they're just dropping, they dropped it in the mail and it should be here, uh, this next Wednesday. All right. Beetle and Grim. There. I'm, I'm looking at my... <laughs> uh, Dragon says, that's a heck of a scam. That's how they get you to buy extra dragons. Right, right. <laughs> get people to buy stuff by sending them the wrong stuff. Well, you know, it worked in this case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope, that's what I bought. <laughs> Everything yeah. that I bought is here because I, I think I was looking at it going, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Yeah, uh, there, there's lo lots of stuffs on there that I would like, but are not relevant to this campaign. I think that's why I didn't buy it. Yeah, the one I would have liked to have bought, even though it it isn't part of this, is that Hellrider badge because it looks awesome. But uh, yeah. So, anyways, that Troutlope pin is new, and I'll have to check that out as well as the Arcane Brotherhood pin was not there before. But all right. So yes. That's our unboxing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, any final thoughts, Daniel? Uh, no. No, this stuff is really neat. Really, uh, really neat. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, of course. Uh, as always, if you'd like to support us, make sure that you hit that uh, follow button on Twitch, or if you're able to, hit the subscribe button, and you'll become one of our rock stars. On YouTube, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and, of course, the bell icon so you get notified as we upload content almost every day of the week, Monday through Friday. And last but not least, you can go to patreon.com slash gamersledge where you can get your name on every single show that we do for as little as a dollar a month, just like the fine folks coming up next, our Patreon and Twitch patrons. Uh, for Daniel and myself, thanks for watching. And until next time, game on. Game on. Oh, and join us tonight at 7 o'clock, uh, 7.15 Pacific, 9 p.m. Central, and 10.15 Eastern for uh, Gamers Ledge Podcast. We have a lot to talk about tonight. A lot. Until then, game on. Game on. <laughs>